If you were to ask me, the best defense that you could possibly run in Madden 22 is one in which you base out of match coverage and bring pressure when the situation calls for it. You'll find that most players don't have a big time grasp of the rules of match coverage and often resort to sending five guys out on routes which makes cherry picking your moment very, very easy. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the best way to generate pressure from a match-based defense, and it might surprise you what formation we do this out of. Let's go ahead and get into this. What is up guys, Dan from the Zamad YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best formation to generate pressure from a match-based coverage. And it might actually surprise you which formation that is. This is the kind of thing that just tickles my balls. So what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna start off by showing you the formation that I think you should avoid at all costs. For some reason, these double A-gap nickel defenses are completely broken as to how they play their match coverage, but we're gonna have a nice little workaround for you. But first, let's show you what this looks like in the double A gap or the nickel two, four, five double A gap formation. So the match play that you will find in the double A gap defenses is known as nickel dog Meg. Now Meg or M-E-G stands for man everywhere he goes. So this particular play from a play art standpoint is set up with man lock principles already baked into the way the, the game particularly plays. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna call this particular play against the gun bunch, which as we know is the most popular offense every single year in Madden. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ball with our bunch to the wide side of the field, and we're going to work with our street corner flat combo, which is what you most often see. Um, and what you're gonna see out of this match coverage is typically when you call the cover four match, you actually can rely on your outside corners to do a really good job of matching the outbreaking pattern that is flooding to the corner out of the bunch side. Now, as you see with this play, we've already got guys individually manned up. One thing that you can actually do here with this defense is convert your players into outside quarters to restore that it is a match coverage. So, and then what I like to do is I like to bluff blitz my slot blitz in corner to give you the three rack hook. The other thing that you could do if you wanted to was put him into a vertical hook or bluff blitz a defensive tackle to put him in the three rack. Um, it's kind of up to you what you wanna do. As long as you have basically two of those purple zones the outside deep quarters instead of the Meg or the man everywhere he goes assignments, um, you basically could play cover four quarters. Now, the other thing that you'll notice about this is that in the nickel double A gap, we've got these seam flats, which are actually cover three match zones. You'll find that in cover four match, you have quarter flats. Now, if this all sounds foreign to you, I would strongly urge that you guys go check out my gridirongameplans.gg website where I have the cover four match game plan. In that game plan, I break down cover four quarters, cover four palms, cover six, cover six invert, and cover nine, which are all coverages that I use all game, every game. And this is how I lock down very... Uh, Oh my God, you got a hold of that one. And this is how I lock down a variety of different meta offensive formations, whether it's the gun bunch or the gun bunch offset or the U trips or the trips tight end or the Trey Y flex or the gun split close or any of those popular compression based or sometimes spread based offenses. We've got rules to cover those in this match match based defense. Now with this particular formation, it's broken. And what I'm going to say about this is I want you to watch primarily two players. I want you to watch Willis and I want you to watch Sendejo. And what you're going to see out of these guys is they don't play match rules at all against this. And they're going to end up blowing the coverage for a one play touchdown. And basically what it is, is both of those inside quarters play purple zones. I don't know why they do that. You can't get them to play their assignment correctly. So again, watch this. It's it's actually very, very bizarre how this match coverage plays. Uh, if you take a look right here, this guy runs all the way to the bunch side and just goes and stands basically in a purple zone, which is not coincidentally what this purple zone is already doing. And then you see right here, this guy, number 23, is also doing the same thing. So you have like three players all standing in the same area of the field when you're trying to run a match coverage. Let's go ahead and do that again just to show you. It's really, really ugly. I have no idea who... I butchered that. I 
have no idea who QA'd this, but it definitely is not match coverage um, at all. Even with these adjustments, it is a completely broken defense. Um, so, you know, I'll go ahead and put LB back on his quarter. And then let's just put DeForest Buckner on the bluff blitz. So we've got essentially match coverage. We've got every single zone that you need for this. And again, watch the safeties. They both run to the, the right side corner and the entire middle of the field is wide open one play score. If you guys are enjoying this free YouTube content, I would strongly urge you to go over to my strategy website. GridironGamePlans.gg is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our vault update, we take a look at the meta or the most effective tactics available being used by pro players on the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active and access to our Discord server where every single Wednesday, we have a live lab session covering the week's vault content and any questions you guys have about Madden. So make sure you guys head over to gridirongameplans.gg. $9.95 per month unlocks the entire website. So we can't really run this match coverage, which is unfortunate because the nickel double A gap is actually a very, very popular defense simply because you have the ability to kind of be able to mix in match coverage out of it if, if you were able to run this play. I mean, if you were to think about it, you'd be able to come down here and say, all right, well, hey, I want to guarantee pressure. I want to put you in the three rack and I just want to play match over to that right side and I'll take care of the rest. And if you catch them with five out, then all of a sudden you've got pressure, you're screaming right at them and they don't know what they're looking at. Except for the fact that you can't rely on your match coverage to do what it's supposed to do in this play. This also exists in the nickel two, four, five double A gap. So you can't run this. It's really, really unfortunate but we've got to work around. Don't you worry. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Enter the nickel wide nine. The nickel wide nine is another nickel package, which has four rushers, two linebackers and five coverage players. And within the nickel wide nine, you'll notice that you have cover six, which is a play that I broke down in the game plan, cover four quarters. You've got cover six invert, which is again, I mentioned that cover four palms and really the only coverage that you are missing is in fact cover nine but that's okay because you can create cover nine on your own if you go and take a look at my match game plan on gridiron but let's go ahead and show you cover four quarters so we're going to call that exa exact same cover four quarters here and i am going to come out in the bunch again and i'm going to set up the exact same route combo so in this situation we are effectively calling cover four quarters and if I were to run those same zones that we had, again, you take a look. The only difference here is that the seam flats are now quarter flats and you actually run that coverage against this street corner flat combo. Now, all of a sudden, the zones play appropriately and everything is matched and it's completely shut down. So the quarters plays appropriately. Now, the really, really cool thing about this is that from the nickel wide nine, you have the ability to create the Nickel double leg gap simply by pinching your linebackers. That's all you have to do, pinch your linebackers. And then from there, now you could go ahead and bring this down to the line. You could crash your defensive line inside. You could still mug and you can guarantee your pressures. And you see right here, we had double pressure on that. Whereas in the nickel double leg gap, we only had one guy coming free. Again, let me show that to you. You just pinch your linebackers, global blitz them and crash them inside. Very, very easy. And then you come stand right down here. You can guarantee your pressure if you want to and play your assignment as you see fit. Right here, we got one guy free, but everybody's matching. So you don't have time for anything to be a lob touchdown down the middle of the field. And this makes this really, really dangerous because now we have the ability to effectively come out here and guarantee that we are bringing pressure. Well, we could also bring the illusion of pressure. You could pinch those linebackers and leave them in their zone. So, you know, go ahead and, and pinch them down and I've reset so their zones are correct. And now all of a sudden you might bait your opponent and saying, oh, well, shoot, I'm worried about this. Let's go ahead and, you know, put the tight end on a delay fade. And, you know, maybe we max protect here and, you know, just have a three route combo. And then when they snap the ball, we drop out and we're in a spot where, lo and behold, you know, we're in coverage. So you got the ability to mix in your match with the ability to bring pressure from the same look, which is the total package of running a defense like this because a lot of players don't understand the rules of how to beat zone coverage. They send the running back out, 
they send the tight end out they need to get five guys out all out on routes to beat the coverage because they don't know how to beat it with the receivers and they have to check down a lot well now you take the ability to check down out because you know you have a pressure look out of it or you know you make them check it down because you've got this pressure look um, you're not going to have to worry about defending the bomb plays and the checkdowns at the same time while waiting on your front four to, to get home. So this is a really, really good defense. Honestly, I thought about putting this on gridiron game plans, but I wanted more so to show you guys that we can generate pressure and uh, be unique on the defensive side of the ball out of a formation that other players aren't running. Now, again, if you guys need to understand the coverage rules, and there are a lot of them, solo check, special check, uh, cut rules for the tight end and trips tight end. Um, you've got cover six and cover nine with their own nuance press versus off coverage. I've taken all of that work out of this for you guys. It's on gridiron and uh, your membership includes everything on the site. So right now there's six game plans and there's weekly vault updates that go out and you guys get all that for $9.95 a month. So definitely go over there and check that out. If you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe here to the channel. We're pushing 10,000 subscribers should be hitting that here hopefully this week. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow with our next video upload until then this is Ann. Get in the lab and good luck.